the thing. You're going to get all dressed up, and you're reading about such incredible courage and suffering uh, and brutality. Um, it's very difficult. But and I was thinking about that today, and, and I thought, you know what? All you can do is carry on the best you possibly can, and we just have to do what we do. And then when we've done this, then we can put our minds back to how we help the Ukrainian people. There's going to be women and children and men and lives shattered and cut short for what? For this border that people are clearly wanting to identify as their own country. And there's no reason that those two countries can't have a, a wonderful relationship and flourish someday. But uh, what's happened right now is a disaster. And my heart is with our international family all over the world right now who is fighting uh, for their safety and their freedom. And I love you all so much. Thank you very, very much. Uh, it's truly, truly awful. Really, really awful what's happening. And it's particularly awful in terms of the, um, what is affecting the other people, particularly in our profession. The president of Ukraine was a comic. You know, he was a wonderful comic performer. And we should respect that for him. And to come to the presidency was amazing. But the, the thing that's really distressed me is what's happening in Russia to my fellow actors and actresses and performers and writers and, and, and critics. They are told under pain of high treason that they cannot say a word about Ukraine. And I think that is pretty awful. And I think we should all stand together and also for those people, the people in Russia who don't like what's going on and particularly the artists. And I think we should really join in celebrating them and hoping that they can actually make a shift as I believe they can. Thank you. Thank you.